it's time to put on makeup. Today is a dual purpose day. One purpose is uh, rather serious, and the other purpose is uh, somewhat frivolous. And of course, the serious purpose is uh, being engineered by Miss Bukow. The townhouse in Bangkok that I've been living in for about five years now has uh, recently raised my rent from 30,000 baht a month to uh, 40,000 baht a month. Ms. Bukow, being the real dealer that she is, found this house that she'd like to buy. And her thinking is that she'll put down, you know, the required down payment, and what I would pay in rent will go toward her mortgage payment. The uh, entryway is uh, impressive. Oh, in the spacious kitchen. But yeah, plenty of space. We have another room off the living room here. This would be a bedroom, no doubt, facing the front of the house. Let's go see the upstairs. Rather elegant drapery in the stairway. So there's a bedroom downstairs. Here's another one up here, so it's two. Is three. They're rather small, actually. Well, compared to where I've been, this is most likely a master bedroom. It's a nice suburban house. Which herein lies my theory. I think that the female chromosome—I forget whether they have the X or the Y or whatever that is—but I don't care. They have chromosomes, and within those chromosomes uh, exists a predisposition to live somewhere suburban. So the girls all love the place, and I can understand why. It is, a, it is a pretty house, and it looks like it's well built. It's in a quiet little suburban gated community. We are on the outskirts, and we're in Ram Khan Hang, actually, which is uh, the outskirts of Bangkok. Again, the girls have a genetic predisposition for suburban living. I'm convinced of it. Look at them. They're happy there. So yeah, a quiet little lane in a suburban area of Bangkok. A nice, nice little four bedroom house. It's a lovely place. I would rather set my foot on fire than to be stuck out here in that place. I haven't told them of my not wanting to really live in that suburban house yet because I want them to stay in a good mood because the frivolous part of my video today is a little short that I'm going to make with Gnome Pear. Um, an idea that I got from watching a, uh, a documentary done by Robert Downey Jr. It was on Netflix and it was basically a documentary about his father, Senior, who was a movie maker back in the 60s and the 70s. I remember watching one of his movies back then, Senior's movies, thinking, yeah, that sucked. Uh, but watching the documentary, I got some really great ideas from the old guy. He uh, was quite an avant-garde movie maker, and some of his ideas where he makes just short, nonsensical kind of clips work very good for shorts. You even have a rooster in the background. And this, this uh, scene that I want to shoot here is going to be a good opening for another video that I made about an art gallery. How's that for nonsensical connections? It's just bright as all get out, but I guess we're going to have to work around it.